How you doing guys? Our video today is about dry cargo handling equipment. Cargo handling equipment. They are a set of devices used for loading and unloading operations. The form of the cargo handling equipment employed is going to depend on the nature of the cargo as well as the packing or unpacking condition of that cargo. Dry Ball Cargo Dry Ball Cargo is a shipping term for items that are shipped loosely and unpackaged. An item may be classified as Dry Ball Cargo if it doesn't contain a meat or by its nature produced liquid. Examples of Dry Ball Cargo are Iron Ore grain, cement, coal, timbers, etc. Tribal cargo can be loaded or unloaded at ports by cranes with grab attachment, the charging hoppers, and the transportation is normally carried out by trucks or rail wagons. Most dry bulk carriers depend on short side facilities at ports for cargo loading and unloading. However, there are some types of bulk carriers called self dechargers which are able to discharge the cargo using their own gear. These bulk carriers are equipped with conveyors below the cargo holes with cranes on deck, as well as excavators that are fitted on a transverse running over the vessel's entire hatch. Dry Bulk Cargo Handling Equipment Dry Bulk Cargo Handling Facilities at port can be in the form of power propelled conveyor belts, usually fed at the landward end by hoppers or grabs. Hoppers are used to temporarily hold bulk materials before they are transferred into a conveyance system, bag or containers for use or for distribution. At port terminals there are at least four types of hoppers. The self driving hopper, which is fitted with an efficient engine to power the hopper's drive and operation. The thick tire wheel hopper, the rail mounted hopper, and the static mounted hopper. All of them can be used depending on the process requirement at port. On the other hand, there are at least three types of grabs available at port. The grab bucket, designed for handling bulk sugar, cement, grain, iron ore, etc. The timber grab, designed for working with timbers, and the magnetic grab for handling ferrous material and ore. These grabs are fixed to high-capacity traveling cranes or traveling gantries. Finally, at ports, we can find the elevators and the silos, which are normally associated with bulk cargo, such as grain. They may be operated by pneumatic suction arm hoses, which suck the grain out of the ship's holds in order to be transferred to the silos. Thank you very much for your attention, my friends. See you next video.